I also know in reading a little bit of your history coming up that you, you grew up with the church. I did. Yes. So I would imagine that the, the, this is not, uh, this doesn't coincide. The church could be pretty uh, militant against what you, do you find that? Have they, are you being so, attacked or not yet? Not, not yet. Not yet. You're gonna already known. I'm going to tell you, <laughs> I'm going to tell you not yet for a reason. In an hour. So I, I, I will tell you that I've been very, very lucky. And when I say lucky, I think it's because of the way, the way that I do what I do. Somebody early on wanted me to start a church. I kid you not. They wanted me to start a church. And they start said, a church. Start a church. They said, you should be a, a minister or like a preacher. And I was like, why? And they said, oh my God, you'll have a super, a, Mega church, a super church, I don't know mega church, yeah, mega church. church. You can call super. yours; it's yours. You can yeah. call it whatever you want. <laughs> it was like a mega church. He goes because you could preach the Bible and then you can demonstrate, you know. And, and they were like, you can demonstrate, and that's just gonna like, you know. And I looked at the person. And I was like, yeah, you clearly don't get me. And they were like, what? I go, I want to see the person, and then I want to see them leave. Like I am not looking for a dependency on them. If somebody doesn't come back and see me, that means I did my job well enough that they don't feel the need to come back and see me. I go, I don't want to foster any type of dependency anywhere energetically or, or whatnot. Like that to me is a, that was a big like, whoa, red flag. So my Catholic upbringing um, got in the way, maybe in my family dynamic, because my mom was divorced and she would sit in the back of the church and I'd be like, why are you sitting in the back? Is that you want to sit in the back? Cause you want to sit in the back. And she's like, I shouldn't even be in the building. I'm like, why should you be in the building? Divorce. And she goes, well, I'm excommunicated cause I'm divorced. Right. And I was like, you know, that's like just man-made silliness. Right. And she was like, well, it is what it is. And I come from the, the, the Catholic background that if you missed mass and you did not go to confession, you could not receive the host on Sunday. There was no act of contrition as you're walking down the hall, you're like walking down the aisle. So it was a pretty serious, like my grandma took me to church every day until I was in first grade. So the church and the Catholic religion, the dogmatic belief system was very much a part of my upbringing. And then I kind of felt like I was also, just by nature of what I, cho what I chose, excommunicated, never affected my faith, but it did affect the rules. So I, I'm a rule, I was like, these are the rules, okay. And then I had a nun come to me. Um, she was my two o'clock appointment and <laughs> she showed up in full on habit. Like, and I, I thought she was collecting for a charity or something. And I said, can I help you? And she said, you can, if you're John, I said, I am John. I go, how can I help you? And she said, I'm your two o'clock. And I remember thinking, oh, uh, okay, come, come, come in. So she comes in, I bring her in the room that I'm reading in. I wasn't married yet. I sat her down and I ran into the other room and I called my wife now, my girlfriend, now wife at work. And I was like, Sandra, there is a nun here. <laughs> and she's like, okay. She's like, why is she there? And I go, for a reading. She's like my two o'clock appointment. And she goes, so then go read her. And I was like, yeah, but like, I'm like completely distracted right now. And she goes, why is she topless? And I was like, no, she's not topless. <laughs> I go, she's like full on in her habit and the whole wimple thing. She's like, John, I am at work. Go do your job. And I went and I sat down and I did the reading. I was really professional, right? And at the end of the reading, she got really quiet and she said, do you know why I'm here? I looked at her and went, I'm assuming because you wanted to hear from these people. And she said, no, I was here to have you arrested. And I went, oh, okay. And she said, you have been reading a lot of my parishioners and I run a support and grief bereavement group. She goes, and your name keeps coming up over and they're passing it around. She said, and I needed to make sure that you weren't taking advantage of them. And I went, okay. And I'm looking at her like, I don't know which way this is going because she was very, again, very nunnish. Um, and I said to her, I said, well, how's my day looking? You know, I tried to crack a joke and she right. said, it's very clear that God gives people gifts. She goes, and you have one. And it's very clear that you're using it to help people in the right, in the right way. And I, and I was like, well, thank you. I said, I, I do the wow. best I can. And then um, she says, how, she goes, how, how much, how much is this, whatever. And I was like, oh no, not this is, this is nothing. <laughs> and she was like, that was the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> and then she proceeded to tell me that I would be working with her and I would be supporting her in her grief group at the convent that she worked at. And I did that for years after that. And then my day ended with a priest, same day. That's so bizarre. And that's such a dichotomy between what you do and what is kind of, I, I don't know, I'm a Jew, but 
you know, what I would think that the Catholic Church. But I feel like I, I felt like, you know, I said to the priest at the end of the day, I go, who, oh, by the way, is still a very good friend of mine. I was like, why do you think on the same day, like a nun and a priest were sent to me? He goes, because you were adrift at sea and you were lost. So we were sent in universally. He goes, you would say the universe. I would say Jesus. Call it what you like. You needed help. Here we are. And I thought that was a cool thing. 